Okay, hello all you people out there, this is Michael of Two and a Half Stooges, and welcome back to Anti-Dementor Lessons with Harry Potter and Rumors Lupin. So, you hit that thing through time, oh, that wasn't quite good enough. You let the Ring of Light move halfway up your wand, and that will make it uh, strong enough to go to the top of the meter there. It's sort of like that thing that they had in uh, uh, Chamber of Secrets for the consoles. Fred and George had it, and they could measure the power of your spells and stuff, that was pretty cool. Anyway, you can come in here, you can explore some stuff, uh, you can pick up things. I don't really feel like doing that. Um, I'm just gonna go on with it. I do believe that. Why is there a burr mark on the wall? That looks weird. I do believe that this thing will spit out cauldron cakes, but I'm not sure. Okay, passy. That's good too. Uh, we can come down here. Yeah, let's not save the game if we don't have to. Uh, come on, game. Why do we, I know it only takes a second, but the second I don't like because it takes. I don't know. It tends to screw Harry up. Like it, he ends up jumping like a couple uh, feet from where he was before. I don't know. But yeah, so you just basically do the th the same thing that you did to the uh, the meter thing, and you can just do, and that's gonna break a hole. I don't. That looks really weird. But now that's gonna happen, and we're going to have two more of them appearing, and they do slowly move close to you. But once again, um, they don't do very much damage to you, and they uh. They really move towards you quite slowly, there's plenty of time for you to stun them. Um, the idea is to get them both while they're both uh, incapacitated. They, the effect will wear off eventually, but uh, that takes a little while, and it's really not very difficult. Anyway, it would seem that you've mastered the spell, indeed. And the overly epic background music there. Does it keep playing if I just stay here? No, unfortunately it doesn't. Myko, uh, ooh, that's fun. Michael looking through the game's program files to uh, find that song again. All the in-game music uh, OST is in the game's program files directory. Uh, C slash program files slash EA slash uh, Prisoner of Azkaban uh, somewhere around there. But that's generally where I get the music if I need to use it for anything. Anyway, so that's that. That lasted, what, all of three and a half minutes? I want to say I started this at like uh, a minute three on the recording time because I'm just recording this all in one continuous take. So, yeah. Oh my god, this is the escape menu music from a uh, previous game. I never realized that. Cool. I really like that. Although, admittedly, I should probably at least try and talk through the, uh, the music, because I have actually had, back in, um, uh, Sorcerer, no, uh, Chamber of Secrets, one of this song here getting flagged for a cotton ID. It wasn't correct, it was being matched to one of Jeremy Soule's other songs, but, um, it's something I don't really want to push, um, because cotton ID is no fun. And even if it doesn't have any direct implications on the video, because I really don't realistically make any uh, money off these things anyway, it's just really not fun to have uh, one of those asterisks on your YouTube account. All right, so that's that's uh, my two cents on Cotton ID. Um, unfortunately, there really is no realistic way to say this is a false positive. This is not the song that you're saying it is. Um, but of course, you had to say that, didn't you, Ron? But it's it's far easier just not have to deal with it in the first place. So let's see, let's do this. Nope. Yeah, that wasn't hard. Did I lose any HP at all? No, I did not. Way to go. Way to not make the difficulty curve in this game existence at all. It's basically the opposite of like Sacred Gold and Storm Silver. The difficulty curve is non-existent, but oh, Hermione took one hit. Amazing. And we can do that. And that's that. And yes, two chocolate frogs appearing as if. One didn't heal all of the HP in one party member. Way to go, game. But we can do that, and that's going to happen. That's going to go up there. Uh, you can run around and explore a little bit if you want to. There are chests and suits of armor and stuff that you can hit, but I don't feel like doing that. I don't feel like wasting time, as always. And uh, let's go up here. We do that and open the door. No, we can't do that. Let's just do this. And... I don't want to do that quite yet. 
Um, I do believe that the game takes over. If you do this, let's see, we'll be doing that. Oh, you know what, what you have to do is actually uh, pull down that thing and then the game takes over. Let's see. Amazing, right? I've always wanted to do like redstone circuitry and do that in Minecraft, but um, never really got around to it. I'm, I'm too lazy to go uh, that details into redstone. All right, let's see. We both will, will cast Alhamor on that thing there. Recently, they came out with a snapshot that makes it a lot easier to uh, mine uh, resources that are important in circuitry and stuff. And I have picked up quite a bit of redstone in the most recent world that I've created. Uh, people that have played, I believe the number is 14W18A and 17A will know exactly what I'm talking about. But I like how it just went right under that thing. Way to go. Uh, why am I talking about Minecraft here? I totally put that on YouTube if that wasn't the most oversaturated thing and I just don't want to. Uh... I honestly just want to play other games. Okay, the way I play Minecraft, I just tend to... Wow, you, you have a throwing arm. Is uh, basically like wander around, punch trees, and occasionally play place blocks and stuff. Anyway, let's get back on subject. Stop. No, stop that. I don't like it when you do that to the wall. Physics does not approve. Anyway, we can just... I should probably turn the mouse on instead of it down or something like that, but... If you wander in here, you can light this fireplace. And that'll make that thing disappear. So another thing that I could like model with redstone or whatever. Uh, make a Hogwarts clone in Minecraft, obviously. What else would you do with it, right? Anyway, there's the book that we need. We're going back to Hagrid's. I like how the music got cut off. Way to go. Overachiever. Continuity, darn it. The look on that guy's face. He's like, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe that look on that guy's face that just walked past with the red hair. Why are you doing that to the floor? You're a, you're a page of a book. Why are you crawling across the floor like you're an insect? Why am I even questioning that in the first place? Hermione, go to class. That is one thing. I am the only person I know who can say that they have never skipped a class in college in the, the first year. Anyway, welcome to Charms. Atticus. Alright, well, I think that's about it for this part of the Higher Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban playthrough. So, I do hope you all enjoyed that. Um, <clears throat> rate, comment, and subscribe. Watch some other stuff I've uploaded. Hey, you. Yeah, you. I will see you later.